Hello everyone, this is AJ and welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode of my A to Z of my complete Blu-ray 4K collection including still books and the like. So today we're taking a look at the letter X. X for X-ray. Let's get into it. Okay, so uh, another little mop-up session before a few letters where I missed some out before we get into them X's. So I'm going to get through those quick. It's only three or four titles, I believe. But there we go. Let's have a look. Um, um, yes, so here we go. So when I was doing my teas, I, I mentioned these. Now I totally forgot about them. Um, and looking through my still books now, I came across them. And that was Tomb Raider, Lara Croft, Blu-ray still book. Um, which I really like that artwork. Same for Cradle of Life, like that, a still book, I like that. And then I do have a still book for um, the newer one, which unfortunately we're not getting a sequel to because uh, contracts lapsed and all that sort of thing and rights issues, etc. And one that I had totally forgotten about in the W's, and I did watch it and review it a short while ago, and that is Wild Things um, from Arrow. Yep. So, yes, there we go. Okay, so let us begin with the most obvious of X's that most people probably will think is the most obvious of, obvious of X's, and that is the X-Men films. The X-Men Trilogy, Blu-ray, um, triple pack with one, two and three in. Um, X-Men First Class, the only X-Men film outside of Deadpool um, and Wolverines and that as the actual X-Men that I have in 4K. Um, because I don't really feel the need to get the first three in 4K. This is my favourite X-Men film. Um, so I did get that, and I got that rather cheap. I did have this in 4K, but I sent it back because... Or well, I had X-Men Days of Future Past in 4K, I should say, and I sent it back because it's just the standard cut, not the road cut, which really annoyed me. Um, because if I'm going to watch X-Men Days of Future Past, this is the version that I will watch and that I prefer. I won't watch the standard release. But speaking of that standard release, um, I do have... Um, a Days of Future Past 3D version with a slipcover like that that I picked up in Poundland just because. Um, and then I have, obviously, X-Men Apocalypse after um, um, Thingy. And X-Men Dark Phoenix with this lovely slip. Actually, I do have this on 4K. Yes, this is the other one that I have. Um, but only because it was available very cheap. Um, but I didn't originally buy it on 4K. Um, and then we have, okay, this technically under N, but it's part of the X franchise, New Mutants. I won't be showing Deadpool. I know they're part, but they would have been shown under D. Um, and then we have X-Men Origins, Wolverine, which I did show under W, but there we go. Um, and I do have the other two in that franchise, obviously. So we'll leave that there. And a Logan that I didn't show under the L's, but as a 4K version, like so. Yeah, just sort of keep it franchise friendly there. Um, I want that one to go downstairs. So, other X's that I've got. Okay. Hmm. Okay, Astonishing X-Men motion comic film like that, which I picked up for pennies. Oh, and I did forget some W's. God's sake, I'll do them at the end, a couple more. Um, yeah, it's just going to pot now, isn't it? Getting to the end and rushing it through, as I want these over and done with. Um, so, Triple X. Triple X, the next level. Um, these are all pickups in Poundland, all three of them. Um, yeah, I never got around, never watched this one, never watched it. But lo and behold, for a couple of quid, I managed to get the 4K version. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just because it was a couple of quid and it was a 4K. I thought we're not leaving it as a 4K. There we go. Um, I think that's it. I think that's X is done. Um, that was quick. Wow. Yeah, I think 
that's all the X's done there. Um, yeah, it must be. Am I leaving anything? I'm forgetting anything. I don't know. I'm having a quick look. Um, oh my God. I've forgotten some under T and W. I'm doing a mop up now. Okay, before that mop up, I've just found two other X's because my mind goes to TV with these. And that is the X-Files movie, the first one, and the X-Files movie, the second one. You can understand why my mind went to TV. Yes. Um, so now I'm going to do a mop-up session for several letters of stuff that I've forgotten. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Wonder Woman under W. So i got the animated film, like so, and still book of Bloodlines. Um, under T, I completely forgot the Three Musketeers with um, Lenticular. How I forgot all these, I don't know. And I've got uh, three other titles here that I completely forgot. Two under T, one under W, because I didn't go down to my Western section. And that is Tombstone. First one. Fantastic film. I love it. Really good. But at the same time, um, no, actually... Let me go back and do that again, because it will tie in better this way. Okay, so the first one I forgot was the remake of True Grit, which is a fantastic film. And I really love this film. Um, young Hayley Steinfeld there. Um, it's a really good film. Really good remake. Um, then we have Tombstone. A really good film, this one. Um, the story of Wyatt Earp and, you know, um, Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer. I'm not big on Val Kilmer as an actor. I'm not a great fan of his. But I think he's fantastic in this. And steals a lot of the scenes. And that leads me in nicely, and you understand why now, to Wyatt Earp. The Kevin Costner Wyatt Earp film, which again is a film that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, Gene Hackman, Dennis Quaid, Kevin Costner, fantastic cast. Um, I love both of them um, Wyatt Earp related movies. Yes, so that's it. That's it for w, um, X's, sorry, and a little bit of tidying up. Um, Next week is Y. Why, why, why? Do I have any films under Y? That will be an interesting one, won't it? Um, yeah, very interesting. So I'll see you then in two weeks. Could be very, very short, that one. Hit the subscribe button, come join the channel, and see you then. Take care and goodbye.